What's up everyone? Welcome to the video. I'm Trevor West and I am so excited for this week's topic because we get to break down exactly how much money I've spent over the past year, my first year in dental school. And let me tell you, it honestly makes me sick to think about it. I have never spent this much money. I have never even come close to spending this much money in my entire life in a single year. But we'll break that down in just a second. First, I wanted to remind you guys to go follow me on Instagram at Trevor West DDS. You can find out what I'm doing in school every single day, the lab work, see what procedures we're learning, kind of what order, how tough it is. I will be completely honest whether a prep I do is terrible, awful, or great. So follow me on there if you guys are interested in seeing what dental school is like, kind of on the more day-to-day -day grind rather than just these weekly updates. And two, I have a huge announcement for the channel that I've been wanting to tell you guys about for a few months. That's how long I've been working on it. There are a lot of problems that I had to deal with and I didn't even know if this was gonna happen, but I'm about two weeks out from launching a brand called Find Balance. And I'm gonna be making separate videos that let you guys pretty much into my brain, let you know what I'm thinking and what the goals of this brand are, why I'm doing it, but I can tell you right now that in about two weeks, we are going to be launching some t-shirts that every t-shirt that we sell, a portion of that sale, portion of the proceeds are going to go to a charity that organizes surgeries for children who have cleft palates that don't actually have access to get that taken care of. So this is gonna be one of the coolest things I've ever done in my entire life. And I'm so glad that I get to be a part of it, that you guys get to be a part of it. I will keep you guys informed with all those details especially on Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me there. And in a few weeks, be ready. This is something that is huge and I am so excited for. All right, let's get down to business and talk about exactly how much money I've spent this entire first year of dental school. Kind of makes me sick when I think about it. Anyways, here we go. The total amount of money that I've spent from day one of dental school is $102,000. Oh my gosh, I honestly, I can't think about this every day because if I realize that within the last less than a year, I've spent that much money, it just stresses me out. Honestly, it stresses me out and I can't think about it. I have to pretend that it's monopoly money, that it doesn't exist because if I put that on my plate along with all the educational stuff that I'm trying to deal with, I'll go insane. So for right now, it's just a random number that I look at a computer screen. I understand that I can't go out and spend wild, wildly, which I think I've done a pretty good job of not doing, but at the end of the day, I cannot think about it. All right, let's dive into what all comprises of that $102,000. I'm gonna start with the most expensive thing and work my way down everything that I've spent money on in the past year. And the most expensive thing clearly is going to be tuition. And tuition alone for these last two semesters, fall and spring, is $71,000. Yeah, let that sink in. $71,000. Wild. But because I am from Florida and I this first year I am paying out-of-state tuition, I was actually charged $41,000 solely for the reason that I'm not from Ohio. So... In about two weeks, I get to apply for in-state tuition for the next three years, the remainder of my dental school, which OSU is only one of a handful of schools across the country that let you qualify for in-state tuition after you pay out of state for one year. And I did the math for the next three years. If I qualify, I will save $53,000 a year, literally a hundred and what was that a hundred and let me do some math real quick. 53 times three. $159,000 just because I am no longer considered out of state. It's insane, but I am gonna do whatever it takes. There's a long list of things that I've been doing this past year to qualify for in-state. I could honestly make a video on it, but all I gotta say is in two weeks, hopefully I qualify for that in-state because I will save a ton of money. So 71,000 of that 102 came from solely tuition and the next most expensive thing on my list is rent and i actually live kind of in a more expensive place because i live on my own a one bedroom apartment in a nice complex but that was a high priority to me i didn't want to deal with roommates i didn't know anyone when i moved to ohio so 
I didn't want to get some weirdo that made being home miserable. So I love coming home. I love where I live. It's close to campus. It's def I pay for it, but I think it's worth it. And the grand total for my rent for uh, since I started dental school is fourteen thousand eight hundred and eight dollars. And on top of the rent, I have to pay utilities, obviously, which came out to be one thousand fifty dollars for the year. All right, the next thing that was the most expensive during this whole year was going to be food and groceries, and I combined the two because there's impossible to separate my grocery bill from my food from kind of like the cleaning expense of whatever I just combined it and the total cost for the year was three thousand six hundred and ninety five and that accounts for about 10 months since I've been here and if I break that down month by month that is about three hundred and seventy dollars which isn't too bad three hundred seventy dollars per month I think I'm doing okay I could do a little bit better maybe not go out to eat as much at the end of the day I have to have fun and celebrate some of my hard test week with going out to sushi. So overall, I'm pretty happy with only spending around $370 a month. Next up is going to be my entertainment for the year. Now this kind of encompasses everything that's not school, living or eating. Anything that I do that I don't really have to do, but I just do it anyways because I need to have fun, right? And that comes to $856. Now I'm not a big partier, I don't go out a ton, so I think that's probably kind of low compared to most of my classmates, but everyone has their priorities and everyone spends money in different places. So that low, that expense is kind of low for me. And one of the last major expenses is transportation. So for my car, everything from gas to oil change to car washes, pretty much everything for my car costs around $780. Now, I could definitely save some money if I decided to take the bus to and from school every single day. I know I could save a lot on gas, but uh, it's not worth the hassle to me. So I drive to school every single day. It's only five miles at most, but it kind of driving in the city wears, um, wears on your car. So it's just another expense that I have to pay. I'll take it and have the convenience over saving a little bit of money. Now, the last thing that I wanted to talk about as far as financial stuff goes is the amount of scholarship money that I received. And for the first year, it was about $5,000. And that's kind of just a little chunk of my tuition, but I'm definitely grateful for it. I know there are some students who don't get any, and there are some students who get way more, you know, 50%, 75%, even 100% of their tuition is paid for through scholarships. I'm just happy with getting that 5,000 off. That's $5,000 I don't have to pay back and I don't have to pay interest on it. Anyways, that sums up my finances for the past year. It is a, a lot of money. There's no way around it. Um, if you want to go to dental school, make sure it's what you want to do before you take on all this financial risk, all this debt that honestly some people can't really handle being in that much in the red. And everyone that I've talked to in my class, we've just accepted it. And OSU is actually one of the cheaper schools that I got into. So I feel very fortunate that I'm in this position, but I hope this video helps you guys understand the financial aspect of getting into school. It's not cheap at all. It is definitely something to consider. I know every year tuition is going up almost 10% in some of the schools. I think OSU has only gone up 10% in the past uh, 15 years, I want to say. So the uh, dean at OSU is doing a really good job of keeping those costs low, even though we're getting an entire brand new school, brand new clinics, brand new pre-clinics. Anyways, watch out for those schools that keep increasing their tuition 10% year after year after year, because you will pay a lot more money than what they say you are going to when you start school by the time you end school. Anyways, that's just kind of a little rant. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got as much information out of it as possible. If you have any further questions, let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one.